It's me, peace. Hey guys, watch here, I'm doing Toriando. When I go Toriando, my partner's gonna go on one hip. It's super important, he goes right away on one hip, okay? When I do Toriando, my partner, my, in a fight, he'll never stay flat on his back. I'm doing Toriando. He puts his hip on the floor. One hip in the air, one hip in the floor. I put my right hand on the hip that's in the air and my left hand on the knee. I'm going right away into a frame. When I frame, I connect my knee and elbow like this. My knee and elbow are sturdy now. My elbow is supported by my leg. When I start to walk, my, my knee is pushing into his legs. Okay, watch me here. I'm here like this. I go Toriando, one hand on the hip, one hand on the knee. Very important now, my partner is gonna try to put his leg over my head. If he's successful in doing that, he's gonna block my pass, okay? Of course, there's follow-ups I can do. I can slide underneath his leg, I can duck under, but I don't wanna have to go to the next move. I wanna try to beat him immediately with the first, okay? I'm doing Toriando, and then I'm framing in his leg. Once I Toriando, I frame in the hip, I frame in the leg, I connect my knee and elbow, and now my job is to point his knees away from me. When I point his knees away from me, I'm gonna drop to my knees behind his thighs, okay? When I drop to my knees behind his thighs, I'm looking to body lock. When I body lock, look, I'm rolling one hand, one, one of his, one hand to the other, like this. I'm rolling his body to my left hand, and then I'm rolling back to my right hand. See, I'm rolling like this. As I'm rolling, I'm locking my hands. I'm putting my head in his chin, just like this. I'm taking my weight off the ground, and I'm putting it on him. From here, I walk, 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 and start to pass, exposing his back and taking the back. Okay? You could end up in side control. It's not necessarily you're gonna end up on his back, depending on how he reacts, okay? What I want you guys to really focus on is Toriando, frame. My partner has to get on one hip, okay? Point his knees away from you. When you point his knees away from you, you're dropping into a body lock. I've passed the guard, and I wanna solidify the guard pass. I wanna connect my hands. As he's shrimping, to go back, I'm gonna connect my hands around his waist. My priority is to connect my hands around his waist, not to expose his back. From here, once my hands are locked, if my partner goes to his back, it's an easy, it's a very easy pass. I'm gonna be in a very nice body lock from side control, okay? My partner's gonna find himself in a lot of trouble. He's not just gonna be able to shrimp back to guard easily, okay? Let's see Neil do it here. He's doing Toriando. Man on the bottom, you gotta get on one hip. I'm on one hip, I'm framing on his body. He's framing in my legs. He starts to push my knees, point them away from my body. He drops down, exposes the center. Starts to attack the body lock. He rolls his hands one to the other and he locks that body. From here, guys, I have escapes, but they're all very difficult to do. It's a lot of energy here. Very difficult for me to escape, okay? If my opponent's big, strong, sweaty, and I lock him in that position, it's gold, okay? It's hard to control an explosive guy without a body lock, okay? So I'm looking for that body lock. I'm here like this. I'm Toriando, frame. I stay very low, very low, okay? I don't want you guys to frame like this from a distance. You gotta bring your body very close to his legs, okay? So he doesn't pummel his feet back in, pummel your feet back in, very difficult. And here I am, I'm rolling his hands, I'm rolling my hands together and I'm locking that body lock, okay? From here I have control of his hips, I'm gonna start smash passing, fatiguing him, burning him out, and taking his back or taking side control, okay? Let's go, ready?